Hi, it's the 30th of March 2018 and welcome to our 5 minute tax update brought to you from a very cold and snowy day in Washington DC, USA. So let's quickly get inside and start the webcast. The main aim of our tax webcast is to brief you on the most important tax developments impacting Cyprus. So let's set the countdown clock and start. We will start by looking at the most important developments in local tax legislation. The Tax Department has recently issued a number of draft tax bills, regulations and notifications with the aim of creating a new legislative framework on transfer pricing fully compliant with the BEPS initiative on documentation requirements and obligatory preparation of transfer pricing reports. The intention is for this new framework to cover all related party transactions and not just intercompany financing, which is currently the case, subject to a lower threshold limit that would apply. We understand that the draft bills are open for consultation with the relevant bodies before they are submitted to Parliament for approval. The provisions of the amended legislation would be analysed in more detail in one of our future webcasts after the final version of the legislation is made available. We will now look at some international developments. On the 13th of March 2018, the EU Finance Ministers reached political agreement on the Tax Intermediaries Directive proposed by the European Commission on the 21st of June 2017 that would require mandatory reporting by tax intermediaries and the automatic exchange of information by the tax authorities of the Member States for certain cross-border arrangements in relation to individuals, companies and other entities. More specifically, the Directive requires intermediaries such as tax advisors, accountants, banks and lawyers to report to the tax authorities in the country in which they are resident any cross-border tax planning arrangements that contain specific criteria, the so-called hallmarks. The EU Member States will then share the information with all other Member States on a quarterly basis. It is important to note that penalties will be imposed on intermediaries that do not comply with the transparency measures. The Directive will be formally adopted during the next EU Council meeting on the 25th of May and once adopted it will apply as from 1 July 2020 but it is expected to have limited retrospective effect. On the 21st of March 2018, the European Commission issued two draft directives on the taxation of the digital economy. Under the proposed new long-term comprehensive solution, companies would have to pay corporate income tax on each EU member state where they have a significant digital presence. In the interim, the Commission proposes a 3% revenue-based digital services tax on specific digital services where the main value is created through user participation. The Commission aims for an effective date of the interim measures of 1 January 2020. It will be interesting to see how this develops. We will now have a quick look at some tax treaty developments. On the 22nd of March, Cyprus signed a new tax treaty with the United Kingdom which updates the existing treaty that was originally signed back in 1974. The applicable withholding rates are as follows. 0% withholding tax on dividends if the beneficial owner is a resident of the other contracting state and 15% withholding tax if the dividends are paid out of income derived from immovable property by an investment vehicle whose such income is exempt from tax. The intention here is to tax distributions made by the so-called REITs, the Real Estate Investment Trusts, as they are fully exempt in the UK on their profits. This will not apply in the case where the beneficial owner is a pension scheme established in the other contracting state, where in such a case the 0% withholding tax will apply. Most importantly, the new treaty provides for zero withholding tax on interest and zero withholding tax on interest. It is expected that the new treaty, when it comes into effect, 
who play an important role in the economic relations between Cyprus and the UK, especially after the Brexit. We will close off today's tax update with a brief reminder of the deadlines coming up. Tomorrow, 31st of March, is normally the deadline for the electronic submission of the income tax return for companies and individuals preparing audited financial statements for the tax year 2016. However, the tax department has recently announced that this deadline has been extended to 30th of June 2018. 30th of April is the deadline for the payment of the first instalment of the premium tax for insurance companies in the, in the life business sector for the first quarter of 2018. Traditionally, 30th of April was also the deadline for the submission of the manual personal income tax return by salaried individuals whose gross income exceeds €19,500. As from this year, such individuals can only submit their tax returns electronically via TaxisNet with a due date of 31 July 2018. We urge therefore those that have yet to register with TaxisNet to do so as soon as possible. The registration procedure is straightforward as it is made through the completion of a simple application form via TaxisNet website. Applicants should have at hand a previously issued tax assessment, otherwise electronic registration will not be possible. Where there is no such previously issued assessment, taxpayers must complete and submit the application form to the tax department manually. In both cases, applicants will receive a confirmation email with the details of their account to enable them to proceed with the submission of their personal tax return electronically. This concludes our tax update for this month. Thank you for watching.